They say podcasts are going to replace books. I don't know about that, but I do think TRS clips will assist your learning process. It's a very beautiful depiction. I'm not sure if you've ever seen Chinna Masta. Anybody who sees Chinna Masta first, you know, first of all, first reaction is how can this be a god? You know, because she's so scary and she's so the depiction is completely out of box. I first saw the painting of my Chinna Masta in one of the temples in Nena Devi temple. It was painted on the temple wall and I th- that was the first time when I was a kid and I was scared, you know. And it's much later that you understand what the depiction means and you know Chinna Masta is shown standing on top of a love making couple and she has cut her own head which she's holding in one hand there are three three sprouts of blood that are coming out of her neck the central one is going into her own mouth and the two on the left and right they are going into the mouth of her companions dakini and varnini okay so anyone who looks at that image would be aghast you know what does it represent and it is scary as hell you know why would god be depicted in something so uh you know unfathomable and dark probably right and it was much later while reading about the mahavidyas that i understood the significance you know first thing is that she has cut her own head which signifies death right and she's standing on top of a love making couple which is creation so it represents that the cycle of creation and death and destruction is an ongoing one right on one hand there is death and another hand there is creation which is happening she is holding her own head and head signifies ego right so the first step in attaining wisdom or advancing on the path of spirituality is letting go of your ego that is what it represents our head our face is our own is a whole identity right we identify ourselves by that face we keep looking in the mirror how am i looking etc so that is the cutting off of of your ego the three sprouts of blood they actually represent the nadis you know the ida pingla and the sushumna and the central one of course is going into our own mouth which is sushumna and ida pingla are represented by dakini and varnini you'll have to break that down a little yeah. bit uh very quickly to summarize what the nadis are it is your spine your spinal cord and two nerve canals that kind of surround your spinal right. cord in yoga in yoga it is believed that you know we have very minute uh, nadis which are like the nervous system and they are along the nervous around the spinal cord astral nerves sort of yes mm. so they are along the spinal cord and the central one is sushumna and it is surrounded by ida and pingala which represent the sun and the moon mm. so the kundalini when we are talking about the kundalini when it arises it rises through these channels these are channels just like we have blood vessels for the transport of blood we have lymphatic vessels similarly we have these channels the ida pingala and sushumna for the uh, transmission of kundalini energy mm. so so that's what these sprouts of blood represent okay so <laughs> i mean once you understand it it makes perfect sense oh yes this is quite clear mm. but till that time you are always wondering why god is shown like this thanks for watching make sure you check out the entire episode and also check out this playlist that we've curated just for you 